Food Blocks 10. We're going to revisit the count with block just because it takes a few times of practice to really get it down. So let's go ahead and stay, uh, start with uh, renaming this. I'm going to name this basket. Oops, not casket, although it feels that way. And I would like you to rename it something else. Let's name yours vase, V-A-S-E. Okay, so we're going to start with creating a variable. And the variables are green and create variable there. The first thing I'm going to call this right here, let's rename this and we're going to call this the frame. Okay, and I'm going off a project that is in the Tinkercad uh, guides. <clears throat> so again, just like last time, we're going to change this to 27. And this time we're actually going to be playing with this variable as well. And now a second variable. So this is how many times um, the shape is going to appear. And we're going to have another one. We're going to rename that one to frame rotation. How many times the item on top is going to be moved around? So frame rotation. There it is. Now in here, we're going to do the math. Let's do the math. And there you go. And of course, by now, you should know what number goes in here. What number goes in here? What number goes in here? You should know by now. 360. So we're going to divide that by anyone, anyone, frame, just like last time. So let's just drag this from our data set. Again, the word number, uh, the word frame means 27. Okay, so those are our two variables. We'll be using those later on in the project. Now the count with. This is where we're actually going to be creating this thing. And let's go with the torus, but we're going to be manipulating it this time. Unlike last time where I just asked you to use it, this time we're going to be changing it. So we start off with a radius of 7.5. Let's change that to 60. And let's change this to, I don't know, um, let's go with seven and two and six. Let's go ahead and run that. Let's see what that looks like. All right. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay. So we're good, but I'm going to rotate this because we want to make it go and make a shape all the way around. So let's go ahead and start with rotate. There it is rotate here and we're going to rotate it along the y axis the y axis and let's change that to 50 and let's see what that looks like all right oh it's repeating 10 times very nice let's go ahead and stop that i guess i should speed these things up all right and speaking of we're going to take this to zero like we usually do and we're gonna put the word frame there because frame means at this point, it means 27. So we're gonna do this 27 times and we're gonna go by ones. Okay, so also we're gonna move this, move, negative 20. And we're gonna move this up, 46.5. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, 27 times, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Why does it keep doing the same thing? By the way, your color is going to be the same as your shirt. So whatever your shirt is right now, that's the color I want you to, to turn in for your project. We need to rotate this at the same time, create a, um, a difference so that it keeps going in a different place, not in the same exact location every single time. So let's go ahead and do rotate. And we want to go around the Z axis, which means we want to go around this. So going around there. And let's go ahead and do the math. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right. So let's drag the I there. Hopefully these things are all familiar to you. And we want to go all the way around. And the center position will be zero, 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 which is exactly where these three lines meet. All right, let's go ahead and play with that very quickly. Very nice, but something's off. If you notice, I've noticed a lot of students get this kind of result 
and they're not sure what that means. It's like, what did I do wrong? And I, I've seen so many, this happens so many times that I know that, hey, when they are, they're not that separated, that's because it needs to be multiplied. Let's try it again. And so now you can see why I called it basket or I guess if you put something in there, you can call it a vase. So there's that. Now, one of the re we're going to add one more to this and let's just go ahead and add that now. Let's add an object and let's add a cylinder. And for this particular particular cylinder, oops, forgot to connect it. Um, let's see, by the way, in the email, I am going to want you to name this basket case. That's the email subject basket case. Let's see, sides are three and edges 24. Let's see what that creates. Again, let's clear this and let's do this. That's beautiful. So that essentially holds it in place. Now you can change this. You can change the height if you wanted to. You can move it up. I'm going to leave it like that. But here's what I would like you to play with. Actually, hold on. Let's just finish this with the last one. And that's create group, obviously, because we want this to be one solid thing. And did it do it? Or is it doing it now? It's processing, I think. Did it do it? I don't know if it did, but we're going to move on. I would like you to mess with a few things. Try changing this number. I'm going to put 25. See what happens. Are we going to miss a few things? Let's see. Did we miss any? Nope, we did not. At least it doesn't look like it. All right. Mess with this. Change this to, I don't know, 50. Let's see what happens with 50. I don't see that much of a difference. What if I change the radius to 10? There should be a big difference there. And there it is. Little tiny thing. So this works better with larger numbers, obviously. What if we change this to, I don't know, 15? So not bad. And it looks like it's something you could actually give someone if you wanted to. It does look like another gift. So. I would like you to, again, just change the Taurus. This is the Taurus. And when you are sending it to me, please send me a screenshot and not an animated GIF, even though it would be, wow, like watching paint dry. Let's cancel this. And this would be an awesome gift for a mother or a teacher that you would appreciate. So maybe consider making one of these and I don't know, making it special just for them. All right, enjoy today's lesson.